Praise God. Amen. Well, we're thankful that you have tuned in with us today. We're, we're going to go into a song. Amen. I am sure that you will be blessed by this song. You know we're serving a good God. Amen. Uh, so let us go into a song. And then right after the song, we'll go right into the message. Today's message is going to be about building upon the rock, the rock of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, so let us go right into a song. Amen. We, we're going to do things a little bit different today. Amen. Uh, so just sit back, enjoy the song, uh, and, and then we're going to go right into a message. Amen. So we will be back right after the message. Sometimes life can be so rough Like a desert it leaves you dry Thirsting for the joy of life Wondering how it slipped you by But I know just where to go When you feel you've lost the race For in the presence of the Lord I found a secret place I found a secret place In the shadow of His love I found a hiding place A haven where I can run In that place I find joy no confusion and no toll And I just hide away In that secret place When the world around me Crumbles and falls The love of Jesus hides me Safely in His arms I found a secret place In the shadow of His love I found a hiding place A haven where I can run In that place I find joy no confusion and no toll And I just hide away In that secret place In that place I find joy No confusion and no toll And I just hide away In that secret place In that secret place
aren't you glad that we can find that secret place in God? Amen. When it when it seems like that everything else fails, and uh, and I, I want you to know we can find that secret place in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you would this morning, Amen. We're not going to hold you too long. I don't know every time I say that I end up preaching a long time. Hey, man, be in prayer for Rosa. Amen. Uh, be in prayer for her mother as they uh, put the pacemaker in her heart or replace and put a new one in there tomorrow. Amen. Uh, we're, we're just thankful. For the blood of the Lamb. Go with me, if you would, this morning. Go with me to the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 23. 2 Samuel, chapter 23. Amen. And if we can get a hold of this this morning, amen, we'd like to preach on the rock, on the rock of our salvation. Amen. Glory be to God. I guess we'll start along with the first one. Amen. Glory be to God. I, I thought you know we're serving a good God. Amen. I thought you know I seem like in the past couple of weeks I've been getting up at uh, uh, three or four o'clock in the morning praying and seeking God and uh, doing a amen, been doing a uh, uh, daily devotional on Facebook and uh, reaching out to a lot of people, amen. And I thought, you know, there's nothing like knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, 2 Samuel uh, chapter 23, amen. Here, here we read that this is uh, David's last words. Amen. And, uh, I love this chapter. I do. I really love this chapter. Hey, man, uh, if I'd read this whole chapter, we'd be here all day. Hey, man, but I want you to notice, uh, hey, man, uh, he said, now these be the last words of David. Uh, David, the son of Jesse, uh, said, uh, and the man was raised up on high, the anointed of God of Jacob, uh, hey, man, uh, and the sweet psalmist of Israel said, uh, the spirit uh, of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. And God, the God of Israel, said, the rock of Israel spake to me, he that ruleth over me must be just ruling in the fear of his God. Uh, he and shall and he shall be uh, as the light of the morning uh, where the sun rises uh, even the morning uh, without clouds uh, as a tender grass uh, uh, springing out of the earth uh, by clear shining uh, after rain uh, he and uh, glory be to God I thought we'd been studying in Sunday school class uh, in the Old Testament uh, he and uh, Glory be to God, and I thought about this. Uh, he, man, I thought about the rock uh, of our salvation. Uh, he, man, he says right here, uh, he, man, uh, the rock of Israel spake to me. Uh, he, man, go with me if you would to Moses. Moses, I want to go to Exodus. Amen. Uh, he, man, uh, amen. Uh, I want to go to the book of Moses. Uh, amen. The book of Exodus. Uh, amen. Uh, glory be to God. I wasn't going to read these scriptures. Uh, amen. But I feel compelled to read them. Uh, amen. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, 
I love these scriptures. I just love the word of God. Amen. We read where Moses beholds God's glory. Amen. Glory be to God. Moses desired to see the face of God. Amen. Glory be to God. I want you to notice, I guess we'll start about verse 17 in chapter 33. Amen. And the Lord God said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken. For thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. Amen. Can I tell you that the Lord knows us by our name? Amen. He'll call us out and he'll speak to us. Amen. Glory be to God. And he said, I beseech thee. Thee, uh, uh, show me thy glory. Uh, and he said, I will make uh, all my goodness pass before thee. Uh, and I will proclaim uh, the name of the Lord before thee. Uh, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Uh, and will show mercy uh, on whom I will show mercy. Uh, and he said, Thou canst not see my face, uh, for there shall no man see me. Uh, and live. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock, and it shall come to pass, while my glory passes by, that I will put thee in the cliff of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And I will take away my hand, and thou I shall see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Amen. Glory be to God. If you go down and read in the next chapter, and they had to put a veil on Moses' face. Amen. Come on. Because the glory of God has shone about him. Amen. And Moses was standing on this rock. Hey, man, he was in the cliff of the rock. Hey, man, can I tell you, hey, man, that we can hide in the cliff of the rock. Can I tell you, he's that secret place that we can run to. Hey, man, David said this in the book of Psalms, hey, man, chapter 18 in verse 2. Hey, man, I thought, my, I thought he is the rock of our salvation. Hey, man, he's the rock of our soul. Hey, man, he's the one that we've got to build upon is Jesus Christ. Hey, man, a lot of people are building on earthly things. They're building on man's doctrine. Hey, man, but can I tell you, hey, man, knows nothing but seeking sands. And we're, we're going to read that here in a little bit. Hey, man, by heart man. Hey, man, a lot of people are building on man's doctrine when we should build upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, man, glory be to God. I hope, my, I'm thankful for the rock of my salvation this morning. I'm thankful for the rock, hey, man, that I can run to. Hey, man, I've always said this. The people say this. Well, you're between a rock and a hard place. Hey, man, well, let me tell you. Hey, man, I'm going to run to the rock. I'm going to run to that rock because it's unmovable. I'm going to run to that cliff because it's my secret place in God. Amen. Glory be to God. Uh, David said this in Psalms 18. Amen. If I can get there. Glory be to God in Psalms 18. Glory be to God. I'm thankful that we can call upon the name of the Lord this 
morning. Amen. In the midnight hour, when things are going bad, we can go to the rock. Amen. He's unmovable. He's steadfast. Amen. Psalms 18 and verse 1. He said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Listen to this. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Amen. Can I tell you that he is our rock this morning? Can I tell you that he's our fortress this morning? Amen. Can I tell you that he's our deliverer this morning? Amen. I thought about his buggy was testifying there. Amen. That he didn't know if he was a coming or going. Amen. Can I tell you? He, but he knew who he could run to. And that is Jesus Christ, the rock of our salvation. Amen. Glory be to God. David said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Amen. He said, the sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Oh, listen to this. He said, the sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even into his ears. I like this. The earth, then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because of his wrath. He man, glory be to God. In the words, God was fixing to deliver him out of the hand of the enemy. Glory be to God. Let me tell you, when it seems like that, we don't know what to do. It seems like there's depression on every hand. He man, I've never seen depression so much in a nation as it is today. He man, they don't know what to do. They don't know. They think they think that the only thing's going to help them is putting a bullet through their brain. Amen. Can I tell you, that ain't the answer. Can I tell you, that ain't going to save your soul. Amen. But can I tell you, amen, what will save your soul is Jesus Christ in Him being crucified and rose again on the third day. That is the rock of our salvation. Amen. We read this scripture the other night. Amen. Glory be to God there in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Amen that Jesus Christ is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Can I tell you that rock this morning of our salvation is Jesus Christ. Psalms 31. Psalms 31. Amen. He said in thee, I'm in verse 1, in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou, listen to this, be thou my strong rock for a house of defense to save me. Oh, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Put me out of the net. Pull me out of the net. And they, and they have laid privately for me, for thou art my strength. I believe David knew what he was talking about. Amen. The rock of our salvation. 
Amen. I thought, I thought, I thought, amen, I, I, I thought the past eight years, I thought, uh, I thought just in a few days, amen, I, I thought uh, dad's going to be gone for eight years. And I, I, I thought, my, I, I thought, my, I sat down and I was thinking last night, uh, hey man, uh, about the things that my dad has taught me. Uh, he man, not only my dad, but my grandpa. Uh, he man, the things that he taught me. Uh, he man, the, what did he teach me? Uh, the legacy. Uh, he man, what kind of legacy? Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, he man, that rock uh, of their salvation. Uh, he man, uh, glory be to God. I've said this a lot of times here. Uh, he man, but there's been times uh, that I didn't know dad what he was going to do. Uh, Man, uh, there's been times that he just, uh, uh, he just, he, he, he just uh, was bewildered. Uh, he man, uh, glory be to God, but I've seen him uh, when he was at his lowest, uh, and he began to cry out to God, uh, and he began to pray. Uh, he knew uh, who his rock was, uh, and that rock uh, is Jesus Christ. Uh, hey man, uh, glory be to God. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ said this. Uh, hey man in Matthew I believe it is uh, hey man uh, glory be to God Jesus said this uh, he said upon this rock uh, I will build my church uh, and the gates of hell uh, shall not prevail against it uh, hey man can I tell you uh, hey man that uh, Jesus Christ uh, is our rock hey man David said this in Psalms 40 and one, amen. Oh, Psalms 40 and one. Oh, I like this. I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Hey man, I, I thought you know when when people comes up to get saved, uh, hey man, they might get up there and they just might say a few words uh, and they turn around and go back. Uh, and they think they're all right. Uh, hey man, uh, hey man, uh, you need to stay uh, and wait patiently until when you know that you know that you know that you've been born again. Uh, hey man, uh, glory be to God. Uh, hey man, can I tell you? Uh, and when you get saved, uh, you'll know it. Uh, hey man, I don't have to tell you. Uh, hey man, a preacher don't have to tell you. Uh, hey man, a deacon don't have to tell you. Uh, Hey man, when you get saved, uh, oh, let me tell you, uh, oh, no better feeling than being, being saved. Uh, hey man, I thought about my Uncle Frank. Uh, hey man, I thought you know. Uh, hey man, he said I was working on a job. Uh, hey man, uh, and he said the Lord began to deal with him on the job. Uh, hey man, he said. Uh, hey man, he said uh, he had heard some uh, that talked about it, uh, that witnessed to him, and said. When you feel that uh, uh, tugging on your heart, uh, you begin to pray. Uh, hey, man, Frank said uh, that he began to pray. Uh, hey, man, and he said, I, he said, I really didn't know, uh, hey, man, what to expect. Uh, but he said, I began to pray uh, and confess the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, man, and he said, while he was working on that job, uh, he got saved. Uh, hey, man, he got changed. Uh, oh, come on now. Uh, you don't have to be in church to get saved. Hey, man, you can be out. Hey, man, in the hunting woods. And when the Lord deals with your heart, you can pray. You can be fishing. I don't care where you are. If the Lord deals on your heart, you can get saved. When he begins to knock on your heart, you go to him and you'll open your heart's door. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Listen to this. He brought me up also 
out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall sin and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Wow. Amen. Uh, that's something I could stay on for, for a long time on that chapter there. Amen. Uh, Lord, can I tell you that Jesus Christ is the rock of our salvation? Go with me to Matthew chapter 7. Amen. Matthew chapter 7. Amen. And verse 24. Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus. Amen. Everywhere that you look at, the disciples built their foundation on Jesus Christ. Their teachings is of Jesus Christ. Amen. They point towards Jesus Christ. Jesus said this in verse 24, Matthew 7 and 24, Therefore, whosoever Amen. Oh, I like what Sister Cindy said this morning. I don't care if you're black, white, yellow, green, purple. Polka dot. Mm -hmm. uh, God is not prejudiced. We're equal in the eyes of God. Yes, sir. Amen. Whew. Come on. Oh, I hug. I don't know. It's been some years ago. Hey, man, and I thought I thought I called up this brother. He black. Hey, man, I said, brother Palmer, you have a revival somewhere over there in Muskogee. He said, boy. He said, brother Sam, I'm glad you called me. He said, yeah, we're having Easter revival over here, and we're, we're holding the, the, the revival, we're holding it in different churches. So, hey, man, there was about a, a seven or eight churches uh, that went together every Easter, and they'd hold a revival, uh, and well, all these churches would go to this one church, uh, and then they go to this other church. Uh, hey, man, they just uh, took turns having services uh, in these churches, and they, and they all went together. It was a revival, uh, but yet it was in different places, different churches uh, each night. Uh, hey, man, and he said, Brother Sam, uh, he said, we're at this church. Uh, I said, well, where, where is it? Uh, he said, well, I'm at the Macedonian Baptist Church. Uh, hey, man, I said, well, uh, all right, I know where that's at. I said, I've been to a few tent revivals there. Uh, hey, man, I said, I've always enjoyed their services. Uh, hey, man, uh, I thought Patrick said, Daddy, I want to go with you. This black church. I thought uh, this brother that I know he married he, he married to a white woman. He man and I thought my we we got over there man, and I thought you know I looked around. I thought my hey man I thought the uh, one of the deacons walked up to me and and he said, Are you brother Sam? I said, I most certainly am. He said, Well I want you to know that you're going to preach for us tonight. And I said, well, I didn't come here to preach. I said, I just come to be in service with you. Hey, man, he said, well, hey, man, we've discussed it. Hey, man, and you're going to preach tonight. Hey, man, I thought, man, alive. Anyhow, I wasn't the only one that preached that night. There was about four more others. Hey, man, but I thought, man, and I thought they just kind of worked things a little bit different uh, in the Baptist church. Uh, hey, man, uh, they said, my brother Sam, uh, hey, man, we want to 
want you to sit up here on the rostrum with us. Amen. Whenever this one gets through, then you come up there and you sit in the next seat. Amen. Oh, all right. Uh, hey, man. So, hey, man. One talked about five minutes. Uh, the other talked about ten minutes. I, I, I thought, but anyhow, I got up there and I thought, oh, Lord, what am I going to preach? Uh, hey, man. What am I going to preach? Uh, he said, preach Jesus. Uh, come on now. Uh, preach Jesus. Uh, hey, man. Uh, uh, glory be to God. Uh, I thought, my, uh, I begin to preach. Hey, man. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, I can't remember how long I was up there. I didn't tell myself. Uh, hey man, uh, but I thought when I was sitting up there on the stage, uh, hey man, I thought, man, uh, I thought, my, uh, I'm going to count how many people's here. Uh, hey man, uh, I counted 303 people. Uh, hey man, just three white people in there. Uh, me, my son, uh, come on, uh, and the brother's wife. Uh, hey man, uh, I'll never forget Patrick. He said, well daddy, uh, where I'm going to sit. Uh, hey man, uh, uh, Sister Palmer said, come on, Patrick, uh, you can sit with me. Uh, hey, man, come on now. Uh, who can I tell you, uh, I don't care where we're at, uh, we can have church there. Uh, hey, man, Jesus Christ said, uh, uh, two or three gathered my name, uh, there shall I be in the midst of them. Uh, hey, man, uh, I'm talking about the rock. Uh, hey, man, I don't care if you're black or yellow or green, whatever. Hey, man, uh, that rock uh, is Jesus Christ. Uh, that rock uh, is no other but the Lamb of God. Jesus said, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Hey man, that rock. Hey man, can I tell you? Hey man, I guess I'm not sitting enough this morning. That rock is Jesus Christ. Come on now. Hey man, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. Hey man, I glory be to God, I thought, hey man, I wasn't going to say anything about it. Hey man, because this was over Facebook. Hey man, but I thought, can I tell you, hey man, I thought sometimes we get ourselves in a pickle. Hey man, I got myself in a pickle yesterday. Hey man, but I thought, my, I looked around, I thought, my, I'm thankful that I got my foot up on the rock. Hey man, I thought, my, I looked around, hey man, I thought I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Hey man, I thought, my, Lord, when I get out of here, hey man, I'm thankful for the rock that Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hey man, can I tell you, hey man, if I want to point anybody to someone, is Jesus Christ. Hey man. How can I tell you that rock is Jesus? Hey man. Oh, can I, my, my, we talked a little bit about the law this morning. I hope my people, people will think that they can go by the law and they'll make it into heaven. There's teachings out there that says all you have to do is go by the law. The outside appearance of things. The uh, not eating pork or not eating catfish or, or anything like this, you know. They say, well, if you eat pork, you're going to hell. Yeah. You, eat, you eat the catfish. Amen. Come on now. 
What, what did Jesus tell Peter? He said, what I've cleansed, I've cleansed. And what I've made clean, made clean. There in the book of Acts. Anyhow, I looked around. And I thought about this old boy. He told me, he said, he, he said, well, Sam, he said, we make sure that we circumcise on the eighth day according to the law. Huh. It's something we had something like that in lessons for. Circumcision is of the heart. It's not of the natural, but it's of the heart. And when we get saved and we are put on that rock, that rock, oh, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, this is something. Hey, man. When they, in the older days, in the biblical days, hey, man, about the only thing that they had was a rock. And they would sharpen that rock. And they would circumcise with that rock. I want you to think about this. That rock came down, and when he saved our soul, he circumcised our heart. Whew, that's something to think about. Oh, the rock of our salvation is Jesus Christ. Listen to this. And the rain descended. And the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Uh, many people I've seen down for the years build their foundation upon a man. I've seen preachers that stand up and and they would, they'd start out right. And they start out good. But somewhere along the way, they'd get distracted. Instead of building upon Jesus Christ, they begin to build upon somebody's teachings. Amen. I like to read books. I like to write books. But can I tell you, that man's teaching is not going to get you into heaven. What's going to get you into heaven is the teaching of the Word of God. And books can confuse you. I'm not against it, but you better know what you're reading when you pick it up. Amen. Well, we're thankful for the blood of the Lamb. Amen. That rock. Is Jesus Christ that rock? Praise God. Amen. Aren't you glad for that message today? Hey, it's been a good God this morning. Hey, man, I, I what you know, we need to build on that rock. That rock of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, well, we're we're gonna go to prayer right now. Amen. And and then uh right after we'll pray, hey man, we'll conclude this service. Uh, Hey, man, maybe you're lost and you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're, you're putting your life on some sinking sand. Hey, man, and maybe, uh, you, you, you feel the need that the Lord is drawing you to build on that rock. And that rock is the Lord Jesus Christ as we preach this morning. Hey, man, uh, so let us go to prayer. Hey, man, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, I invite you to have him to come in your heart according to Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. Hey, hey man, gracious heavenly Father, uh, we come before you, Lord God. Uh, if there's one that does not know you, Lord, uh, that they will reach out to you, Lord, as you prick their hearts and talk to them. Uh, yeah, Lord God, that they will talk to you, Lord. Uh, hey, man, and according to Romans chapter 10, uh, hey, man, verses 9. Uh, 
Amen, Lord God. You said if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord, uh, amen, you said that uh, thou shalt be saved. Uh, amen, that is according to the Word of God. Uh, amen and amen. Uh, listen, if you prayed that prayer with us, uh, amen, find you a Bible-believing church. Amen. Uh, you feel that the Lord saved you. Uh, amen. Find you uh, a Bible-believing church. Uh, Hey man, now at the same time, hey man, I know, hey man, there's many that's sick out there. I get, I get, uh, I get messages all the time. Hey, man, we get them from all over the world. Hey, man, well, we're going to pray all at one time. Hey, man, a gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you through the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we pray for the church worldwide. Lord, I pray, we pray together, Lord, that you will touch their body from the crown of their head to the crown of their feet, Lord God. Touch their body. Maybe it's a back pain. Uh, Lord, maybe it's something that uh, that's real serious with cancer. Uh, Lord God, maybe, Lord, uh, even at this time, Lord, uh, maybe it's this coronavirus that's going around. Uh, hey, man, these bad flus, Lord. Uh, we ask that you will heal uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, glory be to God. Uh, Lord, you said by the stripes of Jesus, uh, we are healed. Hey, man, we ask this in Jesus' name. Hey, let me tell you something. God's a good God. Hey, man, if you're watching this video, hey, man, you're watching around Stellwell or Tahlequah, hey, man, uh, Adair County, uh, Cherokee County, uh, uh, Sequoia County, hey, man, and, and uh, Delaware County, hey, we invite you to come out here, uh, hey, man, to, to uh, Sycamore Tree Baptist Church, uh, Hey, man, we would be glad to have you. Hey, man, glory be to God. Like I said, if you live around here in Oklahoma, hey, if you want to come back, uh, come to uh, come here from uh, Ohio or Virginia or wherever. Uh, hey man, you're more than welcome to get here. Give me a call. Hey man, and we will get you here, and we'll tell you how to get you here. Hey man, uh, glory be to God. Well, we're thankful for the blood of the Lamb. Until next time, uh, we will see you.